What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and reviews. Today I have something that everybody has been very excited to see. This is a brand new Figure Arts Zero Showet. Now this one was fan club exclusive so you could only find it through the fan club signups and if you weren't in the fan club you would have to spend like double the price over on eBay. Luckily I was able to get one through the fan club and I'm so excited about this. Uh, the story behind this is one of my friends in Japan has a fan club membership and he sent it to me uh, since I couldn't purchase anything from the premium Bandai store. That's a whole nother story. If you didn't see my roundup of the international versus the Japanese fan club, I talk about that whole thing in that video. But today I'm going to do an unboxing of this figure. I'm going to give you a review and an overall take of what I think of it. Now before we unbox this and review the product, I did want to talk a little bit about the box itself and the presentation. So this is a little bit different from Figure Arts Zero Showettes that they have previously for Sailor Moon. Usually those are in closed boxes and in this case they opened it up so you can actually see the product um, and if you saw this in a store or something, I feel like it would be a lot better so that you could get a much better idea of what you are purchasing before you actually buy it. So we do have like gold foil all around the sides and it's really, really pretty detailing. On the front, it says Usagi and Tuxedo Mask. On the top, it says Figure Arts Zero Choet in that gold foil. And it also has a Tamashi Nation sticker, which shows you that this is the real deal. Both of the sides are opened up as well. So you you can see the figure on the inside and both of them also have the same detailing around the edges with that gold foil. The back shows you a close-up of what the figure looks like and it has a few different pictures of some of the details that you'll see on the figure. We also have a little sticker at the bottom which is from Kodansha which shows you that it's a real deal. Again, one of the licensed stickers and it also shows you that it comes with a card. Now it does say Pretty Guardians on here probably because it is a fan club exclusive and we also see Tamashi Nations and Bandai. So lots of branding on this box. The bottom pretty much has the same thing. It has Usagi and Tuxedo Mask, the figures, a picture of the figurine that you get, and then a little bit of legalese down at the bottom that we don't really care about. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what the figure actually looks like. So I'm opening it up from the side. Hopefully that's a good option. We will see. Now we can really see the background. Uh, this is actually a beautiful box and I really Really like the background on this too. It has a crescent moon and then a whole bunch of different like pink dreamy colors. Very much reminds me of the original anime too with all the reminiscent like dreamy colors that you see in the backgrounds all the time. It's very watercolor, pastel, really pretty. Okay, we also get a cute little postcard. This is just a one-sided card that you receive. It's just a little art print, so that's really cute. I'll definitely put that with my other little art prints. It is from the manga, by the way. It's not an anime print. It's actually from the manga. This is a lot bigger. Dropping things, always. This is a lot bigger than other lines that I've seen, other uh, Sailor Moon figures, so I'm gonna be really gentle with it because I don't want it to break. And it does look like we have a little bit of breakage anyway, probably from shipping. Oh, I found it, yes. Her hair did break off on one of the ends. It looks like it's an easy fix. It's just a teeny tiny bit of hair at one of the very ends, the one of the tips of her hair. They do feel like they don't have a lot of flex. So I am glad that it was only that little edge that broke off because that looks like a pretty simple thing to fix. Okay, so let's take a look at the figure now that it's out of the box and we can actually see all the pieces. So I'll go ahead and start with some overall expectations and realities. Um, so I did expect this to be really big, and it is. It's absolutely very large. Uh, one thing I was not expecting was this little stand right here. I think I heard about it, but I didn't remember it. But there's a stand kind of standing up Usagi on the side. So I wasn't really expecting that to be so visible there. And I wish there was a way to like either remove it or to just make it not as obvious. It is a little translucent, but it's there and it's very noticeable. Uh, another thing that I'm automatically noticing off the bat is that her leg 
is kind of bent and it makes her ankle look broken. And that's a little weird. Um, I know not all of the figures look like that and I'm pretty sure it was just like bending over time and it, now it's just permanently like that. I don't know if I could fix that. I might be able to heat it up a little bit and reform it because I know that you can do that with some figures. I'm also noticing that Mamoru or Tuxedo Mask, his hand is a little dirty. I might be able to fix that as well. So there are a few defects with this figure, but let's take a look at some of the details. So their faces are really, really nice and detailed. They look gorgeous. Uh, I did notice off the bat that they look better than the bootlegs that I have seen. There's a lot more detail in both of their eyes. They look a lot more lively. There's also a lot better like intricate painting on things like Sailor Moon's jewelry or Usagi's jewelry, as well as her dress with the little roses. Same thing with Tuxedo Mask. I'm noticing that the paint detailing on like his mask is a lot better. There's especially airbrushing techniques that you can notice around the edges of these two different figures, like the airbrushing on his jacket to make the shadows pop, and the airbrushing on his little uh, pocket handkerchief. That's very noticeable and really, really appreciate that. I also noticed with Usagi, her dress, the main part of her bodice is very solid, it's very opaque. However, the rest is very translucent, and it, make, it gives it kind of an extra quality to it. It makes it look a lot more like fancy. So I really appreciate that they did a lot of work as far as like painting it so that it looks very translucent, really pretty. The bottom of her dress does cover up her bum, which I do appreciate. So that's really nice. And each of the pieces of white clothing has a pearlescent shine to it, which is really pretty too. Her hair also has that translucent effect at the very ends of them, at the tips. So that looks really cool, it looks very finely detailed. Now on the stand, we also get that pastel color that we saw in the box too, and we have a bunch of silver stars on it. It's a really cute stand. I like that it's not just one solid color, it has a bunch of different details to it, so it gives it kind of a... I don't know, it also looks very fancy. I think the only things that I don't like about this figure are how her ankle looks broken, he's kind of dirty, and part of her hair fell off. Uh, otherwise, it's a beautiful figure. It looks really good. She's got this weird like pink stripe across her knee, which is a little odd. Um, I'll try to show you that in a close up too, but yeah, it looks a little weird. Uh, but I don't think that any of those things are going to be very noticeable when I have them up here to display. Um, it's a gorgeous figure. I'm super happy that I purchased this. I was looking forward to this one for a long time. I have seen bootlegs for forever because a bunch of different companies have made bootlegs. Uh, the bootlegs look cool, but they are definitely not at the same quality as this one, especially when it comes down to the paint. Now, I don't remember the price of this off the top of my head, so I will find that on my email and then I'll put that down in the notes down below so you can see how much this cost so that if you do find one of these on eBay or on Mandrake, then you know how much you should be paying for it. I expect that this would probably go for quite a bit of money, especially since it's such a nice, such an exclusive piece of merchandise as well. Um, but if you can find it for a good deal, I would say you should absolutely buy it. So that will make an excellent addition to my display back here, which I really need to organize because it's just gotten a little bit out of hand and things are cluttered and I just need to fix it up because I ain't gonna have room for any of these new things. Let me know what you think of this new figure Arts Zero Choet down below in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one in the future. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Johnny.